Are you thinking about moving to Olympia, Washington? If so, today we're going to be talking about what you can get in the Olympia area for $650,000. We're going to take a look at the north, south, east, and west, the four main spots in Olympia. We're going to look at the neighborhoods. We're going to look at the schools. We're going to look at the price per square footage, and we're going to kind of break it all down on what that all means for each house and what you can get basically for $650,000 in Olympia, Washington. So let's get into the video. Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Stevens. I'm with Premier Homes Northwest, EXP Realty. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater area. And if this is your first time to our channel, please, I want you to lock in right now. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. You're gonna wanna be notified. Every week we drop a new video about living in Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater. We talk about homes, we talk about restaurants, we talk about parks. Everything there is in this area, we're gonna cover it. We're the experts in the area, so we wanna bring you along on that journey. Today, though, we're gonna be talking about what you can get in Olympia for $650,000. So we wanna jump right into the video right now we're going to talk about our first home all right so let's jump into our first home the first home we have on our list is 5535 johnson point road northeast so this is going to be out in northeast olympia the johnson point area it is a peninsula that's surrounded by the henderson inlet and the squally inlet and uh, basically it's more of a rural style housing you're going to find bigger lots you can find bigger houses as the the further you go out you're getting close to waterfront homes homes can stretch up to you know million two three four five million dollars if they're on the water but this house in particular is going to be priced at six hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars that's what it sold at that was the sell price six hundred fifty eight thousand dollars so this house was built in 2013 it was a three bedroom two bath rambler but the kicker on this one it had 2.2 acres and it also has a shop at around 1728 square foot so it's just a really beautiful piece of land but you also get that shop so those that are looking for a little space that want to have a shop a workshop this place would really cover that and for six hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars and yes the house is a little smaller seventeen hundred and sixteen square foot but again you're getting that supplement with the land and the bigger shop so you have a ton of parking yard you could throw parties this one sold at 383 dollars a square foot this one's also located in the north thurston public schools most of the homes in olympia are not in the north thurston public schools they're actually in the olympia school district but this one is in the north thurston public schools it is a north thurston high school uh, Chinook Middle School and South Bay Elementary. These are all really great schools. I'm going to link below in the description to the North Thurston Public Schools website. You can check those schools out for yourself, but those are really great schools. They're, you know, well-funded. They have really great teachers. And so I, I think you'd really like this area in particular. Uh, if you really want to be in a rural area, but yet you still want to be close to town, you're only about maybe 10, 12 minutes to the freeway, downtown Lacey, or even about 15 minutes to downtown Olympia. So this is on obviously a really great location. So you are gonna be in a little bit more rural. You're not gonna have anything within walking distance. There's not gonna be a ton of sidewalks. So I'm gonna cruise through this area. Again, this is a rural area, so there's not gonna be a ton of parks or uh, sidewalks, but you can see the beautiful country roads. It's gonna be really quiet. So we'll check that part out. Let's go.
right, let's jump into our next house. We're looking at 1612 Springwood Avenue Northeast. Now this one is a little bit closer to the east side of Olympia. So we're gonna put that up on the screen there. And you're a little bit closer to downtown in the east side neighborhood. Now this is going to be a more historic, classic craftsman home uh, built in 1949. This is a, a really popular style home for people that choose to live in Olympia. If they want to kind of have that old style craftsman home, you got, you know, hardwood floors throughout. And this one sold for $660,000, but it was a little bigger than the last one. This one was at 2,072 square foot. And that's because it only sits on 0.38 acres. So here we are, we're getting a little bit more house uh, than the last one, which was 1,700 square foot. But we are on a little bit smaller of a land. So this one, you have more of a convenience factor. It's a little bit closer to downtown. And I think that it also has that charm of being the craftsman style home that a lot of people are into that want to live in Olympia. Uh, not everybody, but all, obviously it's a, just a classic house. So it looked like this one was a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It had, you know, like almost like a park-like setting. You can check out the backyard here in the photos. Uh, hardwood floors, built-ins, wood burning fireplace. It, it just a really lovely home and it just really kind of speaks Olympia when you look at this house. Now, this one is located in the Olympia School District. So this is Olympia High School, Reeves Middle School, and Roosevelt Elementary. These are all, again, really popular schools. Obviously, we have really great schools in this area already. Uh, these ones, uh, Olympia High School is going to be probably one of your most popular schools that people look to attend in the area. Um, and so this one does reside for Olympia High School and Reeves and Roosevelt are also really great schools. That one also has a little bit more things you can walk to. So, you know, you have the, your San Francisco Street Bakery, probably about a half to a mile away. You got uh, parks and closer access to shopping than being in a more rural setting. So overall, this one sold for $318 a square foot and the list price was actually $599, but it got escalated up to $660,000. So you can see even in some instances, homes are still really competitive even at that price point. And if the house is move-in ready, turnkey ready in a desirable area, it's still getting some multiple offer situations. And this one did go up about 10% over asking price. We're going to take Take a look around this neighborhood let's get to it So we're inching a little bit closer to downtown through the east side neighborhood now. And I'm going to put that right up on the screen. The east side neighborhood is a really great historic neighborhood, really popular neighborhood. It has a ton of places you can walk to, parks, restaurants, easy access to downtown, still just a few minutes from Lacey and the freeway. This house was 1118 Central Street Southeast, so right in the heart of the east side neighborhood. And it sold for $650,000 on the dot. So this one is another classic craftsman built in 1920. Again, these are really popular homes that reside in the east side neighborhood. It's a classic neighborhood, historic neighborhood, and this house fits the bill. But this one was actually really, really large at 2,640 square foot. It looks like this was a really great classic craftsman home. Uh, had a ton of updates. It looks like it was remodeled within the last five years. 
and it has a front porch and a deck. Uh, again, walking distance to everything right there in the east side neighborhood. And this one sold at $246 per square foot. And it was a five bedroom, two and a half bath. So this one's a lot bigger than the other two. And you're getting a smaller lot size, 0.17 acres. But then again, here we are, we're moving a little closer to town. So you're getting convenience of location and we're also getting more square footage so it depends on what you want right if you want more square footage do you want a little more land do you want to be a little more private it just really depends but you can kind of take your pick when you're in that price range of six hundred and fifty thousand dollars you have more options you're you're going to have the option to be rural have a little more space or you can get right downtown or live close to the action right this one's also in the olympia school district we have olympia high school Reeves Middle School and this one's actually Madison Elementary and this elementary school is a little more downtown still a really awesome school has great teachers obviously well funded and still within that Olympia School District with feeders to Olympia High School and Reeves Middle School All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the eclectic east side neighborhood and cruise through that So let's skip over to the west side of Olympia. Now this house is a little bit more traditional. It's a little more modern and it's going to have a ton of square foot. This is 3227 Redfern Drive and this one sold for $649,999. Right on the money there, $650,000. So this one was 3,444 square foot, a really big house, uh, built in 2005 and it's a four bedroom two and a half bath sits on 0.149 acres that puts the selling price per square foot at 188 obviously you get a ton more space right here you've got three car garage a more modern layout open vaulted ceilings this one was located up on the west side this is more commercial area this is where you're going to find your mall you know your big box stores like target and you're also going to have your medical facilities the hospitals the doctor's offices dentists uh, just a, it's just a really a central hub and probably the most popular consumer area uh, and professional area for all of olympia it also has a ton of local stuff you know your pizza joints burgers uh, a ton of great restaurants and shops so the west side is a very popular area it also has a, a historic area as well if you feel like that's something that you're really into but maybe you don't like the downtown vibe you want something that can feel a little more suburban at the same time as urban then you can jump up to the west side and this one though is in in a suburb and in a neighborhood on the west side so you know you do have your access to your sidewalks parks closer access to all your amenities uh, than some of the ones that are out uh, a little more rural and again this one sold at basically six hundred and fifty thousand. this one is still in the olympia school district but this is a whole different side of olympia so it's not olympia high school this one's actually capital high school a really great modern high school uh, a ton of people love this school again well-funded part of the district it's the other main high school in olympia there's olympia and capital those are the only two so it's got a ton of resources. This one is serviced by Marshall Middle School, not very far from the high school and not very far from this house, and also Hanson Elementary. All right, so let's take a look around the West Side neighborhood. We'll show some of the popular areas in the West Side, not only just right around the house.
Last on our list today for what you can get for around $650,000 in Olympia, Washington. This is 3511 Norfolk Court Southeast, and we're going to move over to the southeast side. This is basically the Olympia High School neighborhood area, um, Boulevard, Kane Road, some are, are some really popular areas. And basically the way this neighborhood works is you're getting a little bit more premium price because of location um, as Olympia High School is one of the more desired schools obviously but it's also really close to it and in that neighborhood and this one uh, again was sold for six hundred and forty eight thousand five hundred and it was two thousand two hundred and thirty six square feet four bedrooms two and a half baths also built in 1989 it's a little older but it was updated um, and it has a pretty decent sized quarter acre lot so it's in that really cool part of olympia that's a really high highly desirable if you got kids and you want to send them to these particular schools right in that six hundred and fifty thousand dollar range and it sold for 290 dollars a square foot this one was olympia high school washington middle school which we haven't talked about yet is a really popular middle school the thing about that area is people really like to stick to that area it's a really popular area homes don't come available as often there because people tend to stick around you know especially until their kids move out so and then this one also is mckinney elementary which is a really nice school that's right across from lba park and that's another thing about this area there's a tons of parks you got walking on sidewalks some some cool new restaurants are within walking distance in the briggs area so we're going to definitely take a look at those areas uh, we're going to drive through the neighborhood this is 3511 Norfolk Court Southeast, and this one sold for $648,500 at $290 a square foot. We're kind of bouncing around, but this one's on the southeast side, the Olympia High School, Kane Road, Caroline neighborhood. So let's go take a look at the neighborhood. So there's our video on what you can get in Olympia for around $650,000. Thanks so much for sticking through this entire video. We went through five homes. We went through four different areas, the north, south, east, 
and west sides of Olympia. We checked out the neighborhoods, the schools, the houses themselves, and we are so happy that you are here with us. And every day we help people just like you buy and sell their homes right here in the Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater area. And if you have any more questions on this house, or any other house, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or just have any general questions about the Olympia Lacey, Tumwater area, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, you can jump on a Zoom call with me. We are the ones that pick up the phone. We never put you off on a call center or a secretary or anybody else. You always get us on the line. So all that contact information right down below in the description. We look forward to seeing you next week.